Welcome everyone to this um, weird little tutorial. I thought I'd make this as a help function uh, or a help video. Um, this is a common problem or bug that a lot you, a lot of you will have. Um, so here I have I've set up a button in the screen, and if I press it, we can see that when I click it, it just says pass. Okay, it prints me uh, a word. Okay, so it's just an example in showing that we have a button that works with the mouse. So this specific problem always comes with the mouse. Now. The problem is a lot of the time you guys will have mouse gameplay. So whether it's a button, whether it's drag and drop, anything like that, generally it has to do with control, right? So we have the control node and we have things that will allow us to do interactions with the game. Now, a lot of the time, if you look at the control, not a lot of time, almost all the time, we'll see the mouse um, section. And we see filter. We have stop, pass and ignore. Now stop is stopping the mouse from passing through it, okay? Now ignore will completely ignore my mouse. So if I click, nothing will happen. So this is the issue that a lot of you guys have. Now, if I have a, a, a scene that is on top, so generally when I teach um, scene uh, changes or whatever they're called, changing scenes, right? I'll usually use a rectangle and I'll animate it by using this, right? So we'll kind of go like this and change it like that. Now the issue is if this is a global scene, right? A lot of the time you'll have a color rectangle on top of everything. Now, if it's invisible like this in the end, now here's the issue. Nothing will happen. Even if my mouse was working before. Now there's two fixes to this. I can either hide the color rectangle and it will work, but sometimes you don't want to do that. So what we can do is we can head over to the mouse part and see that we can select ignore on the color rectangle. And now I can click the button just like before. So remember, if you have this on stop and this is in front of anything else, I will not be able to click the button. You can kind of hear my clicking, I hope, that I, ca I can't click it. Now, obviously, I think if the button is in front, it should work. But again, the issue a lot of you will have is you will have a global rectangle in the front. So this will just be on a canvas layer, for example, like for example, let me actually give you the example. If we have a canvas, a canvas group, canvas layer as our um, UI or whatever, no matter where this is, this will now show up on top of our button, right? So even if it's behind, it'll still show up and stop me from pressing the button. This is your bug. So just know in the future, whenever you have this bug that you just all of a sudden can't click anything, most likely your issue is somewhere with the mouse. So always keep track of what is happening in the mouse, especially when you start messing with control nodes. Um, control nodes are very useful and very powerful, um, especially because of the signals they have. But just keep in mind that they do mess with uh, the mouse. Now, some of them automatically by default are on the stop filter. Some of them are by default ignore um, or pass, right? So just keep that in mind. Um, I actually might be wrong. I don't know if any of them are defaulted to pass or ignore. I think they're all defaulted to stuff, to be honest. But uh, that's the general idea. OK, guys, so put this to ignore. We play and we can see I can press the button now. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully uh, this video was useful. Um, I just thought I'd make this because I, I feel like a lot of you guys have this issue and a lot of you don't know that there's a mouse <laughs> section in the control node. So uh, I thought I'd make this to help some of you out. All right, I'll see you guys next time.